happy to have you all with us here at the HX studio. We're also happy to have Kike Sarasola, president and founder of Roommate Hotels and BeMate.com. How are you? Very good, thank you. Happy to have you here. So you. tell us, you have a new concept for short-term short rentals. Yes, we last year in Spain when uh, there was a big uh, uproar with Airbnb and they were like trying to uh, do a strike and try to prohibit it. And they came to me to say, uh, Kike, we would like you to help us try and stop this company. And I said, this company is already here. It's a fantastic company. It's a new way of traveling. And I don't see why the hotels are so focused to try and, and close it and shut it down. When it's, a, it's an advance. It's a moving forward. So what I did is I looked at the company and I said, oh, I like Airbnb a lot, but I've never used it. And so I said, why? And one of the reasons was I had no security that, I, that what I was looking for was really going to exist and I needed more services. No, I think you come at a certain age where you need maybe a cleaning or you need a nanny for your daughter, you need a transfer, you need something. So I thought it's very interesting, but I don't use it. So how did I build up this new company? I saw that instead of getting 22,000 apartments in a city, I would get only 1,000 that I looked at, approved, vetted, and photographed, and I would invite them to be join my technological platform. And then from my hotels in the center of the cities, I would give those apartments services. So they could pick up the keys in the lobbies, so that's a big problem with the keys in Airbnb. You can pick up the keys in the lobby, you can pick up the, you can leave your suitcases in the lobby, and especially you have concierge service 24 hours a day. And oh, that was a big one. That's yeah. a big one. That's been a major. And then apart from that, you can decide extra services that you pay for. I want cleaning. I want a transfer. So it's really it's it's targeting an older crowd that does not use Airbnb because they need security and they want more services. So that's how we started. We have almost 8,000 apartments right now in 10 different cities, and it's going very well. So what you see will be what you get, in other words. Exactly. It's a guarantee. It's a safety net. It's knowing that when you go to a place, if you do, if there's something wrong with the apartment, you have the backup of my hotels. If you don't, if something is wrong, you also have the backup. You have the concierge. So it's really a safety net. I think it's very important nowadays when you, this new way of traveling, which is with family, special needs, you have this safety net, which is what we provide. Why do you think there has been such a concern in the industry about these short-term rentals, like Airbnb? Well, I, I think the, our sector is a very traditional sector, let's put it that way, in Europe much more. It's very traditional and they don't like change. They didn't see booking.com coming, they didn't see OTAs coming. So at the end of the day, I think it's, we, have to, we have to move forward, we have to change. I think in my company, what we, all our team, what we're looking for is to do things differently, don't accept the established, and always ask us, why not? I mean, why not this new way of traveling? And instead of fighting it, we want to make it better and try it and give it a try. Sort of, you're breaking some rules of course. in hospitality. I love to break rules in hospitality. <laughs> yes. Tell us, tell us what, what does that mean to you? Well, first of all, I don't like the word hospitality. Okay. And so what do you I, prefer? What I'll tell you right now. Okay. It's, I don't like the word hospitality because what I do is not hospitality. What I do is make my client happy. So I invented a word that we've registered called happy-tality. So what I do is I give hospitality to my clients. I don't do hospitality. Hospitality. Yes. Okay, that could catch on. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talk about some of your remodeled hotel properties. Well, listen, breaking rules. Let me tell you about breaking rules. For example, don't you hate in the hotel industry that breakfast finishes at 9, 30, 10 in the morning? Maybe you've gone partying or you want to rest. Why? Those rules of breakfast. In my hotel's breakfast finishes at 12. Oh, wow. You can have late checkout. You can have free Wi-Fi in all the cities since always. And now we came up, they just gave us a prize in Paris last week, in the big uh, tourism fair, because we came out with a little router that I give my clients who reserve directly on my webpage, and they can hook up six iPhones to that router, and they can walk around the city and have free Wi-Fi in all the city. Wherever they get, Wherever where in they the get. city they are, they can have that family of six or friends of six. They can hook up that, to that router and they have free Wi-Fi in all that city. That's what they gave us a prize for in Paris. And, and quickly, what's your advice to hotel owners in this day and age with so many things changing? So many things changing. I, my advice to them is, okay, anybody, uh, good things can be copied. And I, I mean, I hope they copy the good things I do because I'm going to copy the good things they do. There's no doubt. And I think we should all move forward. We should stop thinking about our, stop thinking about our own little, look at the, what the client wants. I think big problem with, with hotels is they give so many uh, services or so many things in the rooms that you really don't need, don't want, don't want to be paying for it. So I think the big step right now is looking forward, listening to the client, really listening and trying to do something and hearing. Uh, we found out 
that our clients wanted. We have a, here in New York, we started a big nice room with four bunk beds, very, very cool with a big bathroom. And we called it a family room. And it was all the time booked. So we started saying, what's the matter? People are traveling in families and friends. There's a new way of traveling. We have to adjust. Airbnb is showing us that there's a new way of traveling. And there's a demand. There, and there's a demand. So let's try. And the hoteliers try and be in that demand and try to, to get that part of the market. Well, we're happy to have you with us and happy to have you at the Thank all new you. HX. Thank you. So best of luck to you, Kike Sarasola with Roommate Hotels and Bmate.com. Correct. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for joining us once again in the HX studio.